In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a month name to the number that represents that month in Google Sheets. So there may be times when you're working in your spreadsheet and you have a text value here that contains the month name. And what you want to do is use a formula to convert this to the number representing that month. Well, there is a few formulas we can use to do this pretty easily in Google Sheets. The first one is using the month function. So if you've been following along with my channel, I did post a video on how to use the month function previously. I'll just cover it again briefly here. So what the month function does is it takes a date and it returns the number representing the month that that date falls on. So I will just show you here month and then the only argument it takes is the date and it returns 11 because this date is November, which is the 11th month. And so this one returns 10 because this month is 10 October. So that is all the month function does. Now we can't just use this by itself to turn this text into the month number. I'll just show you what happens if we try to do that. You can see it returns value, a value error, because what this function needs is it needs either a date or a number to work. And this is text, so this actually does not work with the month function. But we can still use the month function. You just have to make one quick edit. So all you have to do to use the month function with this text value is at the end of your cell reference here containing the date, just add an and one and then I'll copy this formula down and you can see that it now works the reason this works is because it is adding a one to this month name and it basically turns it into a date value which the month function can then read so this is the easiest way to do it is just to use the month function the other option I'm going to show is using the ifs function. So this is the formula I have set up using the ifs function. So if you're comfortable using the ifs function, you might like this option, though this one takes a lot longer to set up. So what this formula is doing, ifs a2 equals January. So if this cell equals January, if this is true, then we're going to return 1. If this is not true, we move on to the next one. Then it checks if A2 is equal to February. If this is true, it returns 2. You can see that it's false, so it moves on to the next one. And then it keeps checking all of these, and it will stop at the one that contains the actual month here. So that is how the ifs function can be used to do this. Again, this one is a lot more tedious to set up because you have to go through all of the months. Using the month function with the and one at the end is definitely the easier method, but it is useful to know both because it expands your knowledge with using Google Sheets, learning both methods. So that is it for this video. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.